Today I'm going to take you through three of doTERRA's emotional aromatherapy touch oils. So these are um, three of my favorites. There are so many that I could talk about, but I have chosen to focus on um, these three and I will uh, obviously do some more videos to show you what other ones you can also use. Now these are doTERRA touch bottles. So for those of you that uh, don't know or aren't familiar with that term, a touch bottle is an essential oil that has already been diluted with fractionated coconut oil and comes in a really convenient uh, roll bottle, so ready to use. So there are a lot of the doTERRA oils that do um, come in these touch bottles, not all, but they can be really, really convenient uh, if you're not wanting to make your blends yourself. So I will start firstly um, with past tense. So emotional aromatherapy oils are utilized to help support you, uh, emotionally balance you, ground you, and to help lift your mood in various different situations. So past tense in particular uh, is to be used during times when you feel very overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, and just a lot of tension in the body. So that's when this one is an absolute gem. So past tense, when you do use um, the aromatherapy, emotional aromatherapy oils, I would suggest behind the ears, back of the neck and the wrist. So they're three really great places that you can use all three of these oils on. So past tense, just excuse me because I am reading um, some of the ingredients here. Um, it is made from wintergreen, lavender, peppermint, frank, cilantro, majorum, roman chamomile flower, basil, and rosemary. So it's an absolutely beautiful scent um, and one just to even carry with you in your handbag when you're having those stressful times uh, throughout the day or you're just feeling incredibly tense. It could be because of work or emotional reasons. There's, there's so many things in our lives that can make us feel that way. So really beautiful one just to help um, comfort you and ground you during those times. So the second one that I would like to focus on is forgive. So there it is there. Sorry if it's not in focus. <laughs> so forgiveness, that's a tough topic, isn't it? <laughs> I think we can all um, think of times in our lives when forgiveness is something that we've really needed to do, but it can be incredibly difficult um, depending on the situation. It can be very uh, complex and there can be many levels, but forgiveness is something at the end of the day that we often do for ourselves. So this oil here can help us during times when we need to leave the past in the past, leave those negative feelings and those negative experiences in the past and move forward into a brighter future. It assists us and enables us to open our hearts again, even though we might have been hurt, and to look forward to a brighter future, to a more peaceful future and a place where we feel at ease and, and more calm and we're not holding on to these negative emotions that can be really toxic to not only our emotional bodies, but our physical bodies as well. So again, um, just like past tense, this one, you can rub it on your wrists, the back of your neck, and obviously um, behind the ears as well during those times when you really feel like you do need to forgive and move forward, even though it can be incredibly difficult. So this can assist you during those times. Now the uh, essential oils that forgiveness or forgive the oil <laughs> is made up of. Um, so it's spruce leaf, bergamot, juniper berry, myrrh, thyme, and cilantro, just to name a few. So again, it's a really, really gorgeous scent, this one. Um, and yeah, really, really good one to have on hand because I think um, we can all say that, that we all have situations in our lives where this is needed. So. Now the last one, this is one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> so it's console. So you'll just see that there. Um, so 
Console um, is designed to promote feelings of comfort and hope, especially during times of deep sadness and grief. So we all go through periods, um, depending on what's happening in your life, you might have lost a loved one, which can be um, an experience that you can't put into words uh, and you do feel very heavy in the heart and there really aren't any words to describe those feelings. Um, console is to be used during those times when you do feel that heaviness in your heart. So it just promotes feelings of comfort and gives you moments of contentment. So it's just gonna assist during those really, really difficult times. Now it does have quite a sweet floral scent and it's quite soft which I feel is quite fitting for the purpose of the oil. Uh, during times of grief, you do need that soft, tender touch, and this, this gives you that. It's, it's got that soft smell to it and that sweet and comforting. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you haven't smelt it, I would highly advise you get your hands on it. Um, so again, back of the neck, behind the ears and on the wrists. So the essential oils that console is made up of is, so it's frank, patchouli, lang lang, sandalwood, rose, osmanthus, amorous bark, and labdomum leaf. So absolutely gorgeous and highly, highly recommend this one. <laughs> So I really hope that that's given you a bit of an insight into um, how essential oils can be used on an emotional level. There are so many uh, doTERRA oils that you can use to help you um, emotionally, help to balance you, help to ground you, lift your mood. Um, it's just such an endless list. I will try to cover more in other videos, but these three are a really, really fantastic place to start. I can honestly say um, from personal experience that essential oils have dramatically changed my life in the last few years when it comes to my emotional well-being and I think there's so many other people that can vouch for that as well. Um, I'm human, I'm just like you, we have ups and downs, no day is perfect uh, and this can assist you to just feel better within yourself and to tackle those difficult days. So I really hope that's given you um, just a brief uh, little insight into how they can be used. Um, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will touch base with you again soon. Thank you.